Hi guys, Miss Allison here with the Anderson County Library back to share with you some more fun with literacy tips. Today we're going to talk about how reading is a necessary skill to help your child develop these language and literacy skills. Did you know that when you read with your child, you're helping them to increase their exposure to reading and to print, as well as helping them to develop new vocabulary? Reading with your child also shows them that reading can be for pleasure and to obtain new information. Children have a better understanding of print and books whenever you discuss it with everyday life, such as when you're going to the grocery store, talk about the things that you see, such as the words that you're seeing with, throughout the stores and throughout the aisle. Also, when you're doing mail, as you're mailing stuff or whenever you're receiving mail, discuss those things as well. Reading lets children see print on a page and how books are written, such as when you're reading with your child, discuss how the book is supposed to be read. So it's supposed to be read from cover to cover, as well as when you open up the book and begin reading with your child, discuss that it's read from left to right, and the words on the page are meant to be read from left to right. And then if your child is more advanced, have them take the lead. When you ask them, where should we start reading the book? Have them answer to you which way you're supposed to start reading the book. Also, when you're selecting, possibly when you're selecting books, choose books that are very engaging for your child so that they'll be more likely to read, such as this one that I just picked up. Have them select books that are very engaging with lift the flap books or maybe even touch and feel books. Books that are engaging for your child make them more likely to want to read. Also, it's important to select books that have repetition, rhyme, and rhythm, such as this book here, The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Zeus. All of the, his books have a lot of rhyme and have rhythm to it, and it makes it more engaging for the child to stay involved with the story. Also, when you're choosing books, make sure that there can sometimes be engaging for real life and connect to real life. Real life situations can make it more applicable and more meaningful for them. Also, when you're doing the book, have them, let's start with Pete the Cat. Have them tell you what's going on within the story. Have them explain what's going on and have them tell you what they, what they think the problem might be. And all of these skills and ideas are important for helping your child get ready for reading. 